What's up, everyone? This is Jackson in Jackson on Podcast. This is a special episode. I'm gonna vi-、uh, film a video version of this podcast because this one I'm gonna show you how I study Thai consonants, and because it's very difficult to 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 show you what's going on、uh, just using audio. So I decided to use fi- make a video. And I'll put it on YouTube, but of course I will keep the audio version and put it in my podcast just in case、uh, some of you want to listen to the podcast. Because I believe, I believe there will be someone who would like to listen to an audio version of this podcast. And before we get started, let me briefly go through what. It's gonna be about in this episode. First of all, I'm gonna、uh, review the objectives of this learning stage, and then I will show you how I learn the consonants. And after that, I will go through the consonant one by one. Okay. Without further ado, let's begin. So remember last time, last episode, I'm I talk about the different. I introduce you different stages or、uh, or、uh, uh, how to learn a language. Of course, I take it from the Tim Ferriss language learning guide. And right now, I will focus on stage one, which is to focus on sound, spelling, those building blocks, those fundamentals. In Thai, we have consonant, vowels, and tones. Where Uh, we will work on that one by one. But first step is to work on consonant. Usually, if you follow this order, it's gonna be fine. Consonant, then vowels, and then tone. Consonant. Consonant. We are gonna use flashcards to learn to help you study uh, uh, Thai consonants. If you want to work、um, for Thai consonants, you need to do. You need to the mission. The mission of learning Thai consonants is one, learn how to write write the symbols, two, how to pronounce the word.、Uh, the, yeah, you can say the word or the symbol, and you need to identify the initial and final sounds of that syllable. And finally, you gotta know, uh, uh, what the tone class of that consonant is. So we have man one one consonant one Thai consonant contains so many information, but that I would say that these are、uh, the essentials. You gotta you must remember it or or、uh, really understand these、uh, things because it affects.、Uh, if you don't get it right, you don't get it.、Uh, your foundation is not solid in. The very first stage, for the rest of them, it's gonna be a hard time. Okay, too many talking. Let's get into work. Mission one: consonant flashcards, study material. First of all, you go to the website.、Uh, this is a slice of Thai dot com. This is where you download your flashcards. So first of all, you go to this website, and Uh, you choose the size, size of the flashcards. Uh, use uh, use it, let's say I choose A4. Here you pick、uh, more flashcards on one page or few flashcards on one page, up to you. I say uh, I pick nine, and here. In here, here you need to choose your pronunciation guide system. So what is Pronunciation guide system.、Um, basically, it te- it it helps you how t- it helps you to pronounce a word. So we have many systems to to describe the sound uh the the sound of a Thai word, but um uh it is up to you to choose choose whatever system you uh you would like to choose, but um. If this is the first time you learn Thai consonant, I would recommend you choose something 
that uh, shows you the tone. The tone. There's a very important. Let's say, let's say. Um, okay. So basically, uh, so basically, all these pronunciation guide system can tell you uh, the tone of the word. But um, I would pick some th uh, some system that we clearly clearly show you the tone. Let's say the easy tie version. Easy tie. It shows you this is the mid mid sound, low sound, falling, high, rising, or TLC again here. If you choose something like this one, the tiger, the tiger system, you need to you need to understand the symbol right here. There's a little little dot here, a like a little, you know, uh, inverted V, uh, a little dot ticking up, and then. Another V. If you understand this symbol, it's okay. It's good. But I would say if it is the first time you learn Thai language, just pick uh, a system that clearly shows you the tone. Here, I would choose TLC. TLC is a Thai pronunciation system used in ThaiLanguage.com. ThaiLanguage.com. So let me show you the website. This is the website. ThaiLanguage.com. It is an amazing, amazing website. Later on, I will um, learn. Uh, later on, when I want some study material, you uh, will pick some of them in this website. So, because later on we're gonna use it, we're gonna use this website, and I think it is. Why not? Why not choose this one? Besides, um, so what are oh, what are the other reasons? Uh, hold on a second. I choose TLC, and basically there are two two reasons. The first reason is that the tone, the tone marks are clear. The second one is that we're gonna use some of the materials in this website. So I just pick this one. So let's say you choose everything here. You select your options, and then you can download your flashcards. And this is what is gonna be look like. This is the flashcards. It contains both constant Thai consonants and vowels. Thai consonants and vowels. It's amazing flashcards. But um, to be honest, I don't use the vowel flashcards. Yeah, I don't use the. Vowel flashcards. I just I just use the flashcards for me uh, for the high consonants only. So that's how it uh, how I was learning Thai symbols. And then once you have the flashcards, I highly recommend you print it out. Just print out the thing. For the flash uh, flashcards, we have a actually there's a well-known software called Anki. Anki is a flashcards, uh, is a flashcards software. Of course, you can use it, but but you need to build from ground up. You know, it gives you the tools, the tools uh, of making flashcards. But you need to make the flashcards on your own. For example, for example, you're gonna type up the word. If you want the sound, you gotta find find the audio source and put it here. And we have we have so many things to do if you want to use the Anki software to learn constant. I think this it it is just a waste of time. It is just a waste waste of time. By the time you make all the Thai constant flashcards, I believe you have lost all the motivation of learning Thai because it took uh, it would take so much time to build this thing. So why not want to take an easy path, download the flashcards, print it out, boom, you have it. And once you download and print your flashcards, here's the thing, do not, do not, uh, I mean, do not cut them, don't cut them. The, say, say here, you have the flashcard, you see the dot lines. I know, I know it's uh, yeah, it's a temptation, you know, as as an, uh, it's a temptation for you to, you know, just cut it out. But don't do it. Do not do it. Why? I will tell you why later. So 
let's say you have just a whole whole sheet of flashcards let's say this uh you have the whole sheet of flashcards and now we're going to learn the thing so how do we learn it um so first of all because we have entire we have many consonants we have many consonants don't rush don't rush take your time learn few of them let's say each day or uh, every single day or learn few of them every month uh, no, every month every week up to you up to you just take your time don't rush because if you rush you're gonna miss some of the details that is very important later on when we move on to uh, learning to fo Thai vocabulary or Thai pronunciation let's say so for example I want to learn first day the first day I want to learn five five consonants five consonants so first five and remember the objectives we're gonna learn how to write the symbols learn the sound the tone class and initial and final sound initial initial and final sound here the flashcards show you the symbol the sound the class the class let's say I'm talking about the first one go guy go guy it shows you the symbol it shows you uh, it shows you the sound go guy and the tone class which is mid class in this case right now just forget the meaning we're not talking about the meaning here we're just talking about how to pronounce the sound the pronoun uh, the sound the spelling that's it. That's it. We're not talking about the meaning here. So just forget it. And you, as you can see, there is no... It doesn't tell you the initial and final sound of this uh, constant. So, that's why, that's why we need a second resource. Go to ThaiLanguage.com ThaiLanguage.com Of course, I will put a link in the episode notes so can you can have a direct access to this website but if you go to the main page of the thailanguage.com you can see the tab right here tab right here click reference yeah i think it's reference here thai the thai alphabet click consonant boom you have it this is the consonant table it shows you the symbol the sound class, uh, tone class, and most most importantly, the initial and final sound. Here, you write the sounds on these flashcards. Write it down. Write it down. For example, go guy. Okay, select go guy. Initial sound G, final sound K. Write it down. Write it down in the empty em uh, in the em in a empty space. On the flashcards. So in the first, so why I tell you not to cut them when you print out the flashcards, and that is when you cut it, you're mixing you're mixing the flashcards to together because this is the first time you le learn Thai. Let's say you follow this order. You want to write write down the initial and final sound. Okay, first one, go guy, go guy. Because at the first time you don't know it is go guy. It you don't know the symbol of go guy. So you gotta in this deck of flashcards, you gotta you gotta search, search by looking at the symbol here. No that one. No that one. No that one. If there's the first time you learn it, you will think that. Usually we will find find out that the symbols are very similar, just like this one, just like this one, this one, kai and kuo. The difference is just uh, that little dip, little dip or near the circle, that little dip of near near the circle. That's the only difference. And if you if you print out the flashcard and cut them, it will be a pain in the ass. For you to search, search for 
that constant that you are looking for. So don't cut it. Do not cut it. And if you don't cut it, there is an advantage because, uh, and that is, usually you can you you will find out the order. The order is the same from left to right, from top to bottom. Here, first page, go kai, ko kai, ko kuot, ko kwa, ko kon, ko la kang. Here, the order is very similar, or even the order is the same. Here, go kai, ko kai, ko kuot, ko kwa, ko kon, ko la kang. See, it it is just it's like. It's like in English, we have the alphabet. The alphabet. There's an order of an alphabet A B C D E F G all the way to Z. Just like we have a similar idea in Thai. Ko kai ko kai ko 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 ah ko kwa ko kwa ko kon ko la kan. Just like that. A B C D E F G to Z. So you can utilize this order to help you. You know, uh, help you to learn faster. And once you mark, mark, uh, mark the initial and final sound, then you need to know what's the sound. What's the sound? Where are you gonna find it? Go to YouTube. YouTube is your friend. Type Thai consonants because I cannot show, uh, directly show you the YouTube video because of, you know, the copyright stuff, and I don't want my video, uh. To to get pulled down from、uh, by YouTube, so I will not show you the YouTube video right here right now. But I will put a link in the episode notes so you can go check it out, learn the sound, and sometimes、um, maybe the guy will tell you some other useful stuff of this Thai consonants. But the main objective is to learn the sound. Okay, what else we got here? We have. Uh, we have the spelling, the sound, initial and final sound, tone class.、Uh, basically, that's it. That's it. These are what you need to know for each consonant. And then, once you're com、uh, comfortable with、uh, the consonants, like for example, if you learn for the first week. For the first week, you learn the first five consonants, go kai to go kon. You drill them. You mark. You write down the initial and final sound. You go to YouTube, learn the sound, and you keep、uh, do the revision, do the recall, and there will be a time when you're very comfortable with that. Then at that time, you can cut out the flashcards and make a. Deck, just like what I'm holding right here. So these, these would be、uh, my Thai consonant deck.、Uh, at the back, at the back, let me show you one of them. This is the flashcards. This is chocha, chocha. See, we have、uh, the symbol, we have the tone class, we have the sound, and we have the initial and final sound. Sometimes, sometimes not. Each or、uh, not, each of the consonants has initial and final sound. Some of them may only have、uh, initial sound only. Okay, but、uh, if you have it, write it down. And at the back of the flashcards, write down the symbol only. Write out the symbol only. So so that when you、uh, do your revision, you just look at this side, and you look at look at the symbol, and then you recall. We call the sound, the initial and final sound, and the tone class. Then you check here, check here, because、uh, because this this flashcards cannot play the sound. Then you need to go to any website, any online resources to play the sound. Find out the、uh, find out the symbol, find out the consonant, and play the sound.、Uh, keep. Doing the same thing, drill all the consonants, and there will be a time when, when you're very comfortable with the sound, you know the sound of uh, uh, a consonant, you don't need to play the sound anymore. Just like right right now, if you show me, if if you just 
show me this symbol, I know it is torture. Or if I just for for some some reasons I forget the pronunciation of this sound, I take a look of the pronunciation guide, then I would just instantly um, remember the sound that is torture. And that's it. So just again, don't rush. Take your time. Um, and drill all of them, all of them. Don't skip consonants. Although, although, not, um, not all the consonants appears in uh, in in Thai words frequently. Not all of them. Not all of them. Just like, just like, um. For example, like in English, the letter Z, the letter Z compared to A, E, I, Z does not appear uh, frequently compared to other other alphabet. So similar idea applies to Thai con Thai consonants, and and that. It it is much more obvious in Thai because in Thai we have so many consonants. So let's see how many we have here. Forty four, forty four consonants. I would just um here I can Im I can tell you right away that this word honuk hu and this word. If you want to pronounce the S sound in Thai, usually we will use this one, the f number four, number forty, number forty. So because uh, in Thai, if you want to pronounce the S sound, we have many, we have many consonants. We have so sala, so lusi, and so But usually, if you learn Thai vocabulary, and we have an S sound. In the Thai word, most of the time it is so but of course, uh, sometimes we have we can uh, we need to use other uh, consonants. So that's the idea. But again, you need still you need to drill every single one of them. Don't miss it. Don't miss any one of them. And what else we got here? And I think, um, so I think we have completed this session. I tell you how to study Thai consonant, and now we move on to the last session of this episode, and that is to go through every single, uh, every single one of them, Thai consonants. And I would just read, pronounce. I would just pronounce the Thai consonant here. If you want, uh, I won't talk about the details like the initial sound, the final sound, the tone class. No, I won't do that here. I would just pronounce the sound. Forty-four. Let's go. First one is Go Gai. Go Gai. Um. Let me in zoom in here. Go gai ko kai ko kuot ko kuot ko kwai ko kun ko la kang ngo ngu cho zan cho ching cho chang cho cha cho chang cho chang so so this is uh cho cha yo ying do cha da do ba da ขอทานทอมันโททอพุทเท่าเอ่อโฮล่ะ uh, 1 second เอ่อทอพุทเท่า <laughs> uh, and this is n n sound no nang yeah no nang do de to tao uh to tung to ta han to to tong no nu bo bai mai 
ปปลาผอพึ่งฝอฝาพอพานฟอฟันพอสัมพาวมอมะยอยะลอเรือ Actually this one you need to do the rolling ro- rolling out like the the ro- the ro- the ro- the ro- I cannot do it <laughs> I cannot do it the the ro- the ro- the ro- sorry real I literally cannot do it ลอเรือลอลิงวอลเวนสอสาลาสอลิสีสอเสือหอหีบลอจุลาโอนะโออ่างโฮนุคู่ปุ่ม44 consonant and that's it <laughs> and that's it Cons- consistency is the key you gotta um although you may think that you cannot make a huge progress in one day but if this stuff what you learn will accumulate accumulate and by the time let's say one month ago or even a uh, uh, few weeks later uh, no, one month ago what <laughs> one month later or f- just a few weeks later you will see oh damn i make h u uh, make so much uh, a huge progress and that's how you get motivation to learn a language again consistency uh, consistency is key don't rush take your time make just a tiny tiny little progress each day and you're good to go and what else um so just just final notes Uh, di- I'm just uh, here. I just share how I learn. I would say um, I usually I usually tell myself I'm just sharing. I'm not teaching because I'm a terrible teacher, and I'm yeah I'm a terrible teacher, and I ju- I'm just a beginner, so I can't teach you. Uh, uh, can't teach you a lot, but I can show you. I can share. How I do it was my current progress. Again, this is Jackson Lock podcast. This podcast just lock everything I learn, I do, and I will hope you will enjoy this episode. All right, Jackson Lock podcast. This is a special episode. I'm talk about how I learn Thai consonant. And I hope you will enjoy this episode. This is Jackson, and I will see you in the next one. Out. <laughs>